this video, we want to uh, evaluate this volume integral. And because of the x squared plus y squared and the square root of what looks to be a square minus a square, probably going to have to use polar coordinates. And in fact, that is the strategy we're going to end up using. So if you want to stop now, go through and compute it, and we can check the answers later. Um, before doing that, though, I want to show you what this visually looks like. And again, I'm going to use DP graph. I'm going to go through it a little bit quicker than we did last time. Um, but it's helpful to, to see you know, what exactly it is we're doing. So this is a volume integral. Our surface is x squared plus y squared. That's z. z equals x squared plus y squared. And we're, we've got these limits uh, from 0 to square root 4 minus y squared for x and 0 to 2 for y. So we'll go to the Edit button down here, Graph 3D. We'll clear this out. And we'll just type in the function z equals x squared plus y squared. So we'll click Execute, and there we can see it. Of course, we're going to want to see the bounding box. Call that true. And we're also going to want to see the limits on this thing. So let's put a double set of parentheses so we can do multiple functions. And we want, let's see, x equals 0, x equals square root, and then 4 minus y squared. We're also going to want y equals 0 and y equals 2. And of course, z equals 0, because it's you know the surface has to be above z equals 0. So when we click Execute, we'll see what this looks like. And it's a pretty big mess at this point. I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, so let's use some ampersands. Uh, to take the union of this set. Now remember, we want z less than this. We want under this surface. And x greater than 0, x less than square root. That's an ampersand. Take the union of that with y greater than 0, ampersand, y less than 2, ampersand, and we'll do z greater than 0. Okay, that's the chunk that we're looking for. And as you can see, the top is kind of sliced off a bit, so we'll go and change our bounds around a little bit. Doing that is pretty easy to do. Our minimum x is going to be, uh, we'll call it negative 1. Uh, maximum x is going to be 2. Minimum y, again, we'll call it negative 1. Maximum y, positive 2. Uh, our z will be minimum of negative 1 and a maximum of, say, call it 4. That's a little bit better view of what we're doing. And let's just do one more step to make it really refined. Let's make this uh, 75 resolution instead of 21 and click OK. OK, so that's, that's the slice that we're dealing with. This is the volume that we're trying to find. Right? That's the exact volume of this integral. And it's going to be easiest to do it in polar coordinates. Okay. So let me actually take a print screen of that and just paste it over here for reference. And let's go about actually um, figuring out what the bounds are in polar coordinates. Right. So we have, obviously, uh, let's make this blue. The y bounds go from 0 to 2, and the x bounds go from 0 to x equals square root 4 minus y squared. Okay. We should pretty quickly recognize that this is just r squared, right? because r squared equals x squared plus y squared. x equals 0 to x equals 4 minus y squared, that is just the half circle. Right of radius 2, so this is 2, this is also 2, y-axis, x-axis. And because y goes from 0 to 2, that tells us we're only really concerned with this portion of it. Right? This is y equals uh, the square root of 4 minus x squared, or x equals the square root of 4 minus y squared. Technically, y equals uh, 4 minus 
x squared under the square root, that would be the top half of the circle, like this. But since our y limits are from 0 to 2, we only really care about this portion of it, right? So now let's go and actually solve the integral, right? To do that, we note that r goes from 0 to 2, because remember, our graph looked like this. That's 2. That's 2. And we care about this portion. So theta equals 0 to theta equals pi over 2. And r is 0. That's just the origin to r equals 2. That's where those bounds come from. Right? And then there's our r squared. That's x squared plus y squared. And then this is the differential when you have um, polar coordinates. You have to add the r dr d theta. This turns into a pretty easy product of integrals. We've got from 0 to 2 r cubed dr times 0 to pi over 2 d theta. That's very easy to compute. This is also very easy to compute. And we go down and we see that it is exactly 2 pi units squared. That's the volume of this shape. So this integral is 2 pi units squared. That's the volume of this interesting shape. Hope this problem was helpful. Again, if you have any questions, just let me know. Send me an email. And I hope you're having a great day.